Welcome to our day two of our 30 day challenge for um, a bet for going from good to great. My name is Cody and I just want to welcome you guys back. Yesterday we talked about the plan uh, for the offensive side, but what we didn't do is we didn't discuss our defense. And so what I want to do today is I want to give you guys um, just a glimpse into the defense we're going to use. If you guys watch all 30 days of this of this uh, challenge and uh, and we can, can continue to get through and at the end of the 30 day challenge, I feel like it's good. Um, we have a good audience and, and you guys have been sharing the video and different things like that. Then we will give you this defense for free. But here's what we want to do is uh, we're going to talk about four, three under. And what we're going to do is I'm going to tell you guys the blueprint the plan for my defense, um, and it's going to be entirely out of 4-3 under, no other defense, and here's essentially what you want to do. Number one, you want to find the best 4-3 under in the entire game. To me, um, that comes out of the New England Patriots defensive playbook. They have a really, really solid 4-3 under, but they also have a, a couple of other formations we can use that we've written about in the premium membership. If you haven't got the premium membership, uh, be sure to get that. The link is in the description of this video, but 4-3 under... Um, here's what we want to do. We want to use this defense. And so what we're going to do is you want to build the roster. We're going to talk about how to build the roster tomorrow. But here's the blueprint for a successful defense. Number one is that you can you can call zone coverage, man coverage, man blitzes, and zone blitzes all from the same look. All from the same look. Okay, so here's our base look for this. We're going to come out. We're going to baseline. We're going to show blitz. We're going to pinch our linebackers. And from this look right here, this is how we're going to play uh, defense. This is this, it's, it's going to look the same every single thing. So when we go to a man blitz, like an edge sting, well, we're going to baseline, we're going to show blitz, and we're going to pinch the linebackers. And as you can see, it's going to look exactly identical. When we go to cover three, the same exact steps apply, baseline, show blitz, uh, and we're going to pinch the linebackers in a little bit just to kind of get them aligned. And as you can see here, this is our cover three defense, okay? And we're going to do that. So that's one of the key things. That's probably one of the most important things is, number one, is make, can you call everything and can you make it look the same? Okay, for this, we can. The second thing that's important to have in a good defense is to have a good user player, okay? And to, and to use her the same player every time. So in this defense, I can use her the middle linebacker and I can use her him right over this nose tackle every single time. So this is my player. And I will never use her anyone else. This is my guy, and I'm going to sit right in here. This is my my field to cover, okay? So that's step number two is find a, an ability to use her someone, and you have to use her the same person every single time. Uh, the third thing is can you stop the run? Um, and with this being a, with it being a nine-man box, um, I'm pretty sure we're going to do okay at stopping the run. We also have a nose, tar nose guard and different things like that. So I think we're going to be fairly good there. Um, the, the last thing that you really want to look for in a, su uh, a successful defense is do you have pressure options? Can you get pressure from both sides? Um, which is, again, something we're going to talk about later. But if you look at this, we can blitz both safeties. As you can see here, if I wanted to bring pressure off the right or the left edge here, I can just blitz the safety. As you can see here, he's going to loop in. He's going to get pressure. So because of the show blitz feature, this now makes this defense a liable, a very good option. Okay, we're going to show you to it. Like I said, if you guys stay committed to this series and you're watching every day, at the end of this, we're going to give you the defense away for free. Okay, for the, the defense that we come up with from without of this, we're going to give you the scheme for free, just like we gave you the offense for free. Um, all you're going to have to do is leave an email. Okay. And then the last thing that I would say that you want to look for in a, su a successful defense, again, you can get pressure. It can, you can make it all look the same. You can come bring it from cover two, cover four, cover three. So that's all good. Uh, you can stop the run from it. That's good. You make it look the same. That's good. So what other things exist in, an, in a successful defense? To me, they are called X-factor plays. And what I mean by that is exotic coverages that you can use for this. So from the 4-3 under, a play like the Mike Will Cross is worth its weight in gold. Um, it is a completely, uh, a very, very powerful play because the question you also have to ask is, what am I trying to stop? So as a defense, what we're trying to do um, is we're trying to stop people from getting um, touchdowns. That's really the goal. If we can stop people from getting touchdowns, 
that's then, then I'm, I am perfectly okay with that. So uh, the reason I say that is because for this specific defense, does it have a good red zone defense? Does it have a good red zone defense? Well, the question is, and here's how you really answer it. Can it stop the run? Right. Can it stop the run middle? Can it stop the run to the left? And can it stop the short passing game? And in my opinion, everything in here um, that I've seen from the 4-3 under is it can certainly do that. Okay, you can certainly stop the run. It can certainly fill fill all the gaps that you need to fill. Um, but what it really is going to do well is it's going to be a really good red zone defense. I guarantee you with the way the cover four works out of the 4-3 under, the way the Michael Cross will work out of the 4-3 under, this is going to be a very, very powerful um, uh, defense that you're going to be able to utilize, uh, especially with the Michael Cross and, and different things we're going to do from that. So anyways, guys, that is the blueprint to a successful defense. That's how you create a plan. Make sure that it's specific. Make sure that it's clear. Make sure that it's written down. I would argue that if you would just spend about 20 minutes writing out your scheme on a piece of paper, that that would actually be probably one of the number one things that would help you guys get better in this game. But as we continue this 30-day challenge, I want to leave you with this. The key to successful defense is is deception and pressure. Deception and pressure. Using deception uh, and forcing the issue a little bit with different blitzes and then also being able to create pressure without blitzing. And uh, we'll talk a little bit more of that as the season goes on. But the key with that is, you know, is timing and play calling and, and you're not blitzing from the same side every time. Those are critical things that we're going to discover as we continue this 30-day challenge. And when we get into the game plays, you guys are going to be able to really see how I game plan, how I blitz, how I how I use my plays. Um, because it's not necessarily just about the plays that you have, but it's also about how do you use them in a simple to follow, easy guide plan that we're going to create for you over the course of the next 30 days. So hopefully you enjoy this series and hopefully it's been helpful. And a reminder, if you want to get the free bunch guide that we broke down for the offense, all you have to do is leave your email in the comments and we'll send you the guide for free. Thanks for watching.